Hey everybody, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy, and today we're going to continue learning about tracing raster graphics and creating vectors out of them. And we're going to learn about the advanced options um, that you see that I've got here. And I'm going to show you how to get there and everything. So let's go ahead. First, I'm going to make this so it's not um, a vector anymore. And I'm going to go to Object. And I'm going to go to Image Trace. And we're going to go to Release. And it's going to change it back to the source. So in case you ha were messing with Image Trace earlier, you don't know how to get it back besides pressing Control-Z. You click on your object that has been traced. Click on Object. And then go to Image Trace and hit Release. All right, so go ahead and select the object that you want. And we're going to go to Window, and we're going to go to Image Trace. And it's going to bring up this right here. This is what it's going to look like. Up here at the top, you've got Presets. And there's a couple different ones. Auto Color, High Color, Low Color, Grayscale, Black and White, and Outline. And they're pretty self-explanatory, except for auto color. But auto color is going to try to get you the best looking with uh, color in it. So, and then you got the high color, which is lots of colors. Low is low, or a little amount of colors. Uh, grayscale gives you a gradient value of black to white. And then black and white is just either black and white, or white, I mean. And then outline is just the paths. So if you just do outline, you can go ahead and color it in yourself if you wanted to. Um, and then we've got our other presets down here, which um, have the presets that we had before that were next to the image trace button. Um, and then we've got our view, how to look at our different views once you, it has been traced. We've got our modes. We've got black and white, grayscale, and color. So I'm going to put this to color. Um, we've got our palette. Um, which you can use a limited palette or a full tone, or you can pick from your document library that you have. The amount of colors, and then our whole advanced here. So let's start off before we get into the advanced by clicking on something like auto color. These are presets up here, so we'll click on auto color first, and I'll hit OK. And usually this goes fairly fast. Um, the screen does go uh, black while it's doing this. Um, so I'm not really too sure why it does that, but I'll pause it and then I'll get back to when it has finished, uh, doing this progress here. Hey everybody, I'm back. And this is what we came up with, with using the auto color. And I think it's really artistic looking, really cool. Um, and I didn't really have to even do too much to even do it. All I had to do is click the preset, and I've got some really sweet-looking vector ducks. So um, we've got our presets here. We can view the different modes. Here's the source image. Here's our outlines only, and you can see all the different paths that it contains. And um, that's pretty much all we can see there. If I click and hold on this eye, it'll let me see the source image. And if I let go of it, it goes back to the trace result. And that's a little quick way to look at look at the differences if you want to flip back between them real quick and compare. Okay, and then we've got our colors here. It looks like there was 25 in this. You can adjust this to get more colors if you wanted to, or you could go down to get less. But I advise you against using way too many colors because... Then it'll, it'll uh, get a little bit wacky. Just be careful and use um, a good amount and experiment with how much looks good, how many different colors look good, and how many colors look less. So this kind of reminds me of like a watercolor painting, and I kind of like that, and it looks pretty cool, I think. So let's... Um, well, I was going to uh, get more into these advanced options, but it looks like I'm going to leave that for the next tutorial. So I'll just go over something here. I'm going to release this from its uh, image trace um, so it's not traced anymore. I'm just going to do the outline one so you guys can see what it is instead of starting to get into the advanced. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do its uh, thing here. Let's see how fast. Yeah, it goes a lot faster when you're just doing the outline. Thank <laughs> you.
Looks like it's doing a few things. I'm just gonna pause it once again and then pop back in. Oh no, it's already it already did it. But this is outlined. Obviously, it didn't it didn't work. So you, what you would do is you would adjust this threshold. And I'm not sure which one would be faster. Um, let's try less. And it's gonna do this. I'll pause it real quick. And I'm back, and this is what happens when uh, the threshold gets too low. And let's bring up the threshold a little bit higher. These, uh, these are actually pretty quick. I probably don't even need to pause it. But when you do put the threshold up higher, it does take a little bit longer. But here's what we got for the threshold. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to try to find a threshold that works. Um... Or maybe just outlines on this image just don't really work all that well. Now I'm getting closer to what might be something that might be kind of acceptable, but obviously it's not right now. And then we would end up having to get into these advanced options for that. But I'll leave that for the next tutorial. Sorry for the like lackluster finish. Um, the auto color was way better. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. We're going to be going over these advanced options and I'll let you know what all the stuff means in it. So see you guys in that tutorial. Have a good one.